Well, hello guys and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will create the file and first few buttons. So let's get started. First of all, open up your Visual Studio Code and your folder, some folder. Either create a folder or use some folder that you already have. And in here, click on the new file. So in then write the name of the new file. So I'll just call it index.html and hit enter it should create a new file in that folder that you can use so right now the first thing that is really cool about the visual studio code is that it automatically suggests you the kind of template for the basic html so if you write exclamation mark and click on the first thing that pops up it already generates some stuff for you so great and another thing is that we have the extension so if i click by right click on this index file and click on the open with live server it should open a new tab for me and the tab should be okay at yeah it opened a new tab in here so i will just move it in here and that's basically the the document that we are looking at okay so first of all let's define some buttons so button and let's give it an id of for example one and inside the button let's write something like hover and so as you can see we have a button in here and then in the head tag write the styles so like this and in here we will style our buttons so first of all let me define the style for all of the buttons so simply write button and then oh curly braces okay and in here let's define the width and let's give it like 150 pixels and the height and let's give it like 80 pixels and when you save it it's it should be much bigger then let's define the color of the text so it could be i don't know something like this one let's see how it looks yeah well this is pretty ugly so i will use some different one for example this one yeah it's still not a win but it's a better but anyway then we need to get rid of the border because we definitely don't want that so simply write border none and yeah then we also want to define the background the background color and set it to transparent like this and then we also want to define some margin for example 20 pixels and we also want to say the cursor to pointer like this so right now it's pretty basic as you can see no animation at all so this will be the class also let me change the font size font size to one and a half em and hit save and right now when you hover over it there's no animation at all so let's define some the first button is pretty simple so simply refer to the id that you have so hashtag one since it is a id and let's let's add a border to this button okay so let's write border and three pixels solid and the color will be blue violet like this hit save and there's the border okay so right now what we want to do is on the hover so one hover we want to add we want to change the background color and the color of the text okay so the background color will be blue violet like this and the color will be white like this 
So, yeah, let's also add a the effect duration, so the animation duration, the transition duration. And let's give it like 0 0.3 seconds. And hit save. And right now, when you hover over it, it kind of... Sorry, I put in here delay. It should be duration. Like this, hit save. And let's see, yeah, it's much better. So it's much more smooth, right? And it just changed the color. It's the basic animation that you can see on a lot of web websites, right? So yeah, let's go to the second one.